In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the newest Minecraft Bedrock feature, it's Minecraft Bedrock Preview. Now this new preview tab is actually a replacement for the beta editions. And currently it is on the Minecraft PC launcher and you can just see it right in here. Now I'm going to be showing you how to play in the preview and what it's basically all about. So let's get into it. Now starting off, how do you actually play on the preview? Well, first of all, when you load in, it may say something like this. Minecraft preview is now in the launcher and it'll basically tell you to go to the Windows tab and click on the preview. But some of you may not see the preview tab right away. And here's how to do it. What you basically need to do is go into settings and then click on use the beta version of this launcher. And then you will have to close the launcher, reopen it up, and then it will actually show you the new preview tab. So you basically go back into Minecraft Windows and the Preview tab will be there. Now Minecraft Preview is basically just a replacement for Bedrock Edition Beta since Beta was kind of scuffed, leaving people trapped in it. But with Preview, you can play them all at once without having to go into a specific mode where you can only play one at one time. As you can see, if I just go to play, I can just play it. But if I go to Preview, I will have to install it. As you can see, I can simply install it just like so, and it'll be a short install, it shouldn't be as big as the normal game, since it is only installing an update. Similar to how Java Edition does snapshots, it's basically like doing that. But uh, once you install it, you'll actually be able to play with a bunch of new stuff. And there's actually some really good stuff in this edition, which you might want to check out for yourself. Now once you actually install it, you should be able to play it right here. Now this will always try to update you to the latest preview. So if you want to do that, you can just click on the preview tab and then click on play. But if you always want to go back, you do not have to go through a long process. Rather, you can just click on the play tab and play it normally, which I feel like is really cool. As you can see, it will be labeled Minecraft preview and basically go through all the preview stuff, which is pretty cool. And this is basically similar to how the beta worked as well, but just with a new name and a little bit better settings as well. Now while creating a world in Minecraft Preview, you may have to turn on experimental settings as well to play with some of the stuff, like spectator mode. You have to turn that on just like so, and obviously say turn it on anyways to actually use it. And then there might be other stuff later down the line that you may have to turn experimental modes on for. But for now, you can just do that and then proceed and you can play with a bunch of new stuff within the preview. But obviously, the main big thing is actually spectator mode has been added into it and it's pretty fun to play around with. But I will be telling you some of the stuff that you might have questions for while actually showing off some new stuff within the preview mode. So basically, first of all, to actually do this, you want to go into game mode and then spectator just like you would do on Java Edition. And you can play in spectator mode. So uh, some of the questions that people are having is, first of all, is Minecraft beta still available? It is actually still available on Android, Xbox, and Windows, but it's gonna be retired once they get on that platform. So basically you won't be able to use it once Minecraft Preview comes to that platform. Which personally I do like since Minecraft Preview seems to be a lot better than Minecraft beta. And then you may be asking, what platforms is Minecraft Preview available on? Well, Minecraft Preview is coming to several of the Bedrock platforms, starting with iOS, Xbox, and Windows 10 slash 11, which is honestly pretty cool. This is on the uh, Windows 10 version, but obviously having it on iOS, which Minecraft Beta was previously not on, is actually really cool and good for people playing on iOS. So that's going to be great for them at being able to test out the new stuff within the betas, which is actually a really nice addition. Xbox Game Pass players will also be able to participate in Minecraft Preview as well. Another question is, can you actually import Minecraft Worlds into Minecraft Preview so that you can play around with them? And currently on Xbox, you can actually sync your worlds, but they're trying to add it to other platforms as well. Now, even though Minecraft Preview sounds pretty good, there are some limitations. Now, currently in Minecraft Preview, cross-platform multiplayer does not work for all platforms yet. So, obviously, you might not be able to play on cross-platforms yet, but obviously in the future, you will definitely be able to. 
and uh, the marketplace is not available for iOS on Minecraft Preview. But obviously, you can just switch back to the normal version if you really want to buy something on the marketplace. Realms and servers are not on the preview, which is pretty obvious since that's pretty similar to how Bedrock Beta did it, and also Minecraft Snapshots on Java Edition did it as well. And lastly, achievements are not available on the preview, so sadly you cannot have your achievements in your worlds. But obviously, just play on the normal version if you actually want to hit your achievements. But anyways, I hope you have fun playing in the Minecraft preview, especially if you haven't been able to play on Minecraft beta, like iOS and Mac devices. But anyways, I'll update you if there's any new developments in this and if they add it to more platforms as well. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more.